Hey Origin of Everything fans, hoping you guys are fully or partially recovered from your food comas after eating Thanksgiving turkeys if you're here in the US. During season two, I'll be wrapping up each month with a Q&A video where I answer some of your questions and highlight some interesting comments. So here's what some of you had to say on our last three episodes. So let's get things started with some of your responses from our episode on tattoos. Singing with Celine on YouTube wrote that in the disability community, people often get tattoos related to illnesses, mobility aids, or sayings and symbols as a form of pride. Thanks for sharing this, Celine. I'm just gonna assume your name is Celine because your handle's singing with Celine. And Ben Cohen on YouTube asked if I could share some images of my four tattoos, which I mentioned in our episode on tattooing at the beginning of the month. Well, I'm never one to disappoint a fan, so bounce on over to Instagram and Twitter because, hey, now I'm on Twitter to see some images of that. Because it might be a little weird for me to roll up my sleeves all the way on camera, and I think I'm probably standing a little too far away for you guys to see anything clearly anyway, so go on over to Instagram and Twitter to check those out. X-Ray M, also on YouTube, wrote on our episode about sciencey makeup advertising that there was a similar pseudoscientific advertising push for the health benefits of bacon in the early 20th century US. As a result, we began to think of breakfast as the most important meal of the day and bacon as an iconic breakfast food. Well, if you're interested in hearing more about this history, you guys should bounce on over to my collab episode with Braincraft from last year on why do we think breakfast is the most important meal of the day, which is also another good example of how science in advertising has impacted our views of certain products. And lastly, you guys have probably noticed this very basic but somewhat awesome Origin of Everything t-shirt that I'm wearing, which isn't actually for sale. I'm sorry, I just had this made as a prop for the video, but I did have this fine piece of apparel printed so I could finally reveal our new Origin of Everything fan base name. Thanks to everyone on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram who chimed in with some great options for what our small but mighty army of history nerds should be called. And thanks to the 1700 folks who voted for our lucky winner. And that is a Originots, which was sent in by Kizzy Hamilton on YouTube. That's Originots like astronauts or people who are nice and nerdy about the exploration of history. I want you guys to start using this hashtag on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and for the first time ever, Twitter. Can you imagine it? Me, Twitter. I'll be following along and answering your posts throughout the week and after we post new episodes. So be sure to chime in, use the hashtag Originot, and special shout outs to our runner up fan named Choice which are too soon gone, but never forgotten and always in our hearts. Okay, folks, that's it for now. And I'll see you guys here next week.